We're talking about measuring devices. We have several different categories of measuring devices. Measuring devices are things that are marked typically with inches, but can also be metric scale. This is a 48 inch scale. This is made out of aluminum. It's nice and lightweight, but because it's aluminum, you don't want to cut against this edge. It'll nick the edge. This is a rafters square. Um, they, the name comes from the fact that these are commonly used to uh, build rafters in traditional wood frame houses. This is a steel scale, so you can cut against it. This is a great way to make sure that you, um, we have one line at 90 degrees to another line. This is a level. When you have it level, this bubble here in the middle is centered. If you're measuring vertically, the bubble here is centered if it is straight up and down vertically. This is also aluminum, lightweight, but don't cut against it. This is a small square and it's adjustable. You can change the distance. This has both metric and inch. It has a level built in and this edge is steel. Particularly with the steel edge devices, you have to be very careful not to drag your finger rapidly along the edge. You can literally cut yourself. It's not that the edge is knife sharp, um, it's just that it's, it is a hard 90 degree angle and if you get enough speed and pressure going, you can actually do some real damage. The aluminum is not nearly as risky as the steel is when it comes to that. These are three different sizes of tape measures. A tape measure has a semi-flexible metal tape. When you pull it out to a certain distance, you can push down on this thumb tab and lock it in place. From a safety standpoint, here's the mistake that people make. They hold on to the tape measure and they release the button and as this rapidly pulls back in from the spring, this very narrow steel edge slices their finger down to the bone. So you want to be very, very careful, particularly when you're retracting the tape measure. It's lots of fun to feed a lot of it out and then let it snap back in again but you really need to manually control the speed at which it returns and make sure your fingers aren't anywhere near the blade. And this is a caliper device. This is used to take precise measurements. There are two different measuring areas. Uh, the, the larger one on the bottom allows you to determine the precise thickness of an item. The smaller one at the top is, measures the inside. And this is digital, so it's very, very precise. You get a digital readout as you move the calipers along the scale. Uh, this is a precision instrument. You don't want to use it for anything other than taking measurements. Um, you want to be uh, careful that you don't damage it. And it's uh, a little more complicated to use than the others, so you want to pay close attention to the instructions. These other devices are pretty self-explanatory. Um, they're very, very simple to use and you can have many, many years of um, unharmed use if you're careful with the way you treat these measuring tools.